Hyperland. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to this video. And let me start this video by giving you a demo of what uh, the end result is in its entirety. And after that, I will walk you through what I did uh, after the first video, what I customized, and of course, how I set it up. And I'll walk you through that in detail. So let's first uh, start by clicking this button here and then cycling through some color schemes based on the wallpaper that has been cycled. So yeah, that is uh, pretty nice, I think. So if you're interested in figuring out uh, how I set it up, uh, please stay tuned for the rest of the video. So, okay, um, let's dive into the colors, waybar colors. So the bar at the top, that is the waybar. And yeah, we have some configuration there. So uh, let's go into there. So the waybar config.json. This is the whole configuration file. I also also showed it last time. And this is new, I think, the Hyperland window. This. So this is working. Now it gives basically the, the title of the window. And I really like that functionality. So you know what, what is active. Title bar, you know, as you can see here. Right, that's cool. And here's the weather. That's the Python script. Weather.pi. So this is the source, the original source is here. And basically, yeah, goes into there and has an icon for the weather codes. As you can see, 28 degrees, very warm now. And you can put your own city in here or it will try to determine it based on I guess IP address information or something for from your ISP. But I put my city in there and the rest is just a boilerplate to get this to work. I didn't change anything for that. But uh, yeah, if you hover over here, you see more information. So it feels like 28 degrees indeed. And uh, yeah, that, that's it for the weather. So battery, nothing too exciting here. Uh, copy queue, so my tray notifications, The this I just showed you, and uh, all the others. If you click on the Bluetooth one, and then it goes into the Bluetooth CTL. So here you can see what options. Yeah, it, initially it triggered the application Blueberry, but it, that wasn't available at Fedora. Uh, so I just thought, well, why not put the Bluetooth uh, CTL in there and then uh, pick it up from there. Uh, Wi-Fi, volume and brightness. Uh, date, if you hover over there, you see the, the calendar and the shutdown menu. So uh, in the last video, I customized this and I did that indeed. I extended it a little bit more. If you click on it, here you have a couple of options. I'm back, I pressed the wrong button there. So if you, let me do that again. And if you screen lock it, then it will trigger something. It will trigger the, yeah, a lock screen. Lock more. And yeah, there are other options, of course. Uh, sleep, logout, reboot. I just did shut down a moment ago. But uh, yeah, if you press escape, it will uh, do nothing. So it's pretty nice. And uh, let's look at the next part. The next part is the wallpaper changer. Uh, wallpaper.sh. And here you have the directory pictures wallpapers. And it just uh, selects a random one. And then it does that effect. And then it runs the pywall.sh with 16 colors on it. And after that, it will also update Firefox. 
update the fox. One thing I forgot to mention is that I got the SWWW utility from a copper repository. This one, Sway Extras. Uh, put that in the comments here so you can uh, reference it yourself. Uh, if you don't have this uh, for Fedora, I didn't have it, so that's why I put it in here. Let me put for Fedora in there. All right, that's it. And uh, the color schemes, so this way bar, uh, it adheres to the color scheme. And how did I do it? Uh, let me open up that file. Way bar. Config. So this is the standard one, the colors. But uh, yeah, the, actually the style one. I include the directory. Uh, back back so parent parent dot cache slash wall colors waybar dot css this is a standard output of pywall uh, just be aware that where you place this so i had a common trick you could be in another path if you have it set up like me so then you will have uh, here the waybar in uh, config so let me open up the terminal so if you have the waybar here uh, you should be good uh, because then uh, it does uh, cache wall so that uh, gives access to these files and the reason I did it like this because I couldn't uh, add some variable here that didn't correspond but maybe you can, uh, if you're watching this video and have an idea, just drop a comment down below. Uh, open to uh, suggestions on this one. So yeah, all these uh, icons here, all these widgets are styled by this style sheet. And also the colors, of course, they are derived from uh, Pywall, like I said. So colors way bar. Right directory, cache. Wall, color way bar. This is the one. So this get updated uh, each time you tick this button, and after that it will relaunch the way bar. And let's also look at the config again. Config. Oops, way bar. So here you have the um, config.json. I think I already showed this in the previous video. And the styles are, yeah, it just also shows you that. So here the whole thing, yeah, all these modules, uh, window, for example, this is the title bar. And then you go here and you have window color foreground. So you can change that. So let's do it for, for fun. Um, Thirteen, or yeah, why not twelve? It's okay. Save. So it's better, I think. Can do it for all these elements, of course. But I'm not gonna do that now. Um, yeah, that's that one. Uh, what did I for the rest change? Maybe I change this. Uh, this border and I change the border a little bit more yeah the, the, before it was like blue and now it's a more of a white whitish color I would say and I changed that in the Wayland configuration uh, sorry the Hyperland configuration hyper go into there and here is the general and you have the active border so rgba just know that this is a function to convert this to rgb rgba and if you don't know uh, this is just the hex value and ee is the alpha so if this is the hex without the hash in front of it 
and 45 degrees is the, the tile so if you were to let's say you want to change this let's um, change it to this for example and now this is the, the yellow as you can see and and and, and below it's still the white whitish but depending on your preference of course you can change this but let's put it back to where it was and it automatically updates it uh, anyway so that's pretty cool yeah just one thing as well that's a pseudo tile it's beginning to grow on me this is pseudo tiling And for that, you uh, in my mappings, you press uh, mod P to toggle that basically. And this is regular tiling if you do mod P, and then you can also change the how big they are. Oops, that was the yeah, it was also a mod L. Do you do the lock screen? Okay, and uh, yeah, brightness, I added that in there. Uh, lock screen, dolphin, floating, you can still do. Yeah, I, I think uh, just have a look at the configuration and uh, play around with it. And uh, yeah, that's just about it. Let's go to the closing of the video. And that's it for another video. I hope you liked it and maybe learned something new. If you reached it all the way to the end, thanks a lot for that one. I really appreciate it. And if this video helps you in any way, please don't forget to subscribe. It helps me out a lot with the channel. So for the next video, maybe I will make a video about Sway. That was one of the first comments I got when creating Hyperland for a free user. Was why not look at Sway? I did indeed look a little bit uh, at Sway already. And I thought, well, it's very interesting maybe to uh, create a video about Sway, but I really wanted to finish this one first. And uh, yeah, drop a comment down below what you think of it. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.